Dith versus Toastfish. Dith with the tried and true, the Robin, the Dith classic. Um, this is, uh, I think, probably Dith's best character, um, the one they're most well known for. Um, against Toastfish is Wolf. Wolf, uh, a character that they've been learning over the past few weeks, maybe even the past month now. Um, and uh, I think initially was, was planning on using it as sort of a secondary for Luigi, but um, with the amount of time they put into it, it it's starting to look more like a uh, co-main or a, a, a main. Um, but right now, Dith just trying to get back on stage. Um, stuck without a jump. He's forced to just go to that platform and um, close for sort of... Uh, Running away with uh, the beginning of this game right now. Looking for a fair bear, confirm, unfortunately does not get it, and actually opts to go for a grounded upbeat. Um, sort of a, an odd burst option. To get that laser, you know, that that wolf laser is just such a great tool to attack on extra percent. Um, it's transcendent, so it won't be beat out by most other projectiles. Um, that should be an awesome smash. Yep, close fish sealing the first stop there. Uh, but yeah, that, that wolf laser is just so tough for uh, characters to deal with, especially other zoners, just because um, I would, I, in, to my knowledge, I, I don't think there are too many zoners that have reflectors. Um, and, you know, even if they do, wolf laser is so uncommittal and, and quick that um, it doesn't really matter if you reflect it back. So, um, you know, wolf really able to use that to zone break and just tack on a little extra percent. Diff now looking to close this stock out. Does not have access to their Eleven Sword anymore. He's going to try and probably delay a little bit of uh, time. No, actually, he's just going to go for the back throw. Um, looking for a kill using Thunder here. Um, on Thunder and actually gets their Eleven Sword just in time, but um, really good DI on the up smash by Close Fish, but it doesn't matter. The Nair will come out from Death with the Eleven Sword um, and take that stop. Oh, interesting. Going to be a re-grab here, but rolls back on the stage with relatively little consequence and again with the aggressive option with the nair coming on the stage that that nair with levin um you know it's a little bit limited use it's a limited time offer to use that nair but um you know robin mains make use of it when they can it's such a great move but um it's an awkward uh must have been a misinput on that upbeat toastfish gets the punish and now dith at 155 162 Looking to come back to stage, Toastfish just trying to seal this out and catches the air dodge with the up smash. Now Toastfish off a full stock. Dip. Trying to get something started again, that Nair, a pretty good combo, and we're going to see two arc fires into the up smash. Really, really solid damage there from Dip. Starting to even it back up, but here's Toastfish with the advantage state of Wolf. And the jab lock into the down smash. That is a, uh, a true confirm off that jab lock, so you really got to watch out for that. And again, there's Diff with that air dodge on the stage. Able to make it back safely this time, but the back air will close the game out for Toastfish. Two stocks to one. That'll be game one going to Toastfish. All right. Let's see. You got DQ'd, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm not. I'm not gonna fix that. I'll fix it. No, I got. I got it. <laughs> See, play your match, man. <laughs> All right, J. Robin Wings. You guys should both make sure you check in. Um, Okay, so we'll have Jay Robin Wings on stream after this match, but um, we got to get back into uh, Dith versus Toastfish. Oh, don't worry about it, Wings. You're good, man. All right, we're back on Battlefield 2. I think this is definitely Dith's favorite stage. Um, I see him go to this stage very, very frequently. That Arc Thunder going to do a lot of shield damage, but it doesn't really matter when Robin's not in a position to follow up with anything. Um, Robin can get shield breaks, can get grab confirms off of that Arc Thunder, pressuring the shield, but um, when throwing it at a range like that, it's much more often used as sort of a positioning or zoning tool um, rather than shield pressure. So, um, oh, good call out on the jump there with the back air. Close fish with a stock lead right now, but at 75%, it's not exactly um, you know his game to 
in his game to lose yet. So, um, Dith trying to close this out. Those fish now at 128, and Dith probably going to search for that um, uh, Thoron. And grabs the uh, 11 sword and throws it, baiting into the Thoron. Close fish not able to land on the platform there and gets hit by it. Uh, both players at 0% now. That will be a down throw. Actually doesn't go for the up tilt, which um, to my knowledge is a confirm. Um, instead goes for the nair, trying to catch a, uh, a, a jump out or something. Um, it doesn't pay off. Dith now, one use left on Levin, and Levin's sword is gone. Gonna have to wait for the uh, respawn there. And Toastfish taking advantage of this, uh, you know, sort of weakened Robin right now. When Robin doesn't have that Levin sword, you can really go in and, and not worry too much about um, the uh, their their uh, their power necessarily, just because you know when they have bronze sword, it's just sort of like getting hit with a wet paper towel. It doesn't really um, you know scare too much. Um, so we'll see the uh, the fair come out there and Toastfish now just sort of an advantage again. Robin not with a. Uh, Eleven sword anymore, and, and the arc fire will catch Toaster's dropping shield, and there's the arc thunder as well, covering the recovery. Um, Dith now pretty low on resources, has the uh, eleven sword again here, but is out of arc fire. Toaster's now trying to figure out how to ledge trap, and the aggressive fair off the ledge will be punished with the kill. Now Toastfish up a stock, but that kill percent here this is a much closer game than uh, our game last or her, our, our last game here that we watched, so uh, we'll see if Dith can do a, a, a good job evening it back up. It's actually, again, out of the Leaven Sword. Dith, not really too afraid of just throwing out these uh, Leaven Sword aerials and whatnot. Um, you know, doesn't really think of it as a resource they need to preserve and, and is rather, uh, you know, just content to, to zone out. And for good reason, I, I think, you know, the buff that Robin has had from Smash 4 to this game where their eleven sword just comes back so much faster. Like you know, you really can get away with just like using that eleven sword as, as much as you want, as long as you're smart about um, you know staying safe when you don't have eleven, right? So Dith doing a good job, especially this game here. And there's the down throw there that they were looking for last time. Getting these arc fires, building up the percent. Both players fairly even now. <clears throat> Running low on arc fire though, and, and no eleven sword for at least the next few seconds. It's going to be a little bit dangerous, but Levin is back now, and we'll see the arc fires into uh, no finisher there. Toastfish looking for a backer to close out the game here. One good backer at the ledge will definitely do it, and tries to find a tomahawk up smash, but Dith able to roll through. Dith now going to be searching for the Thoron, and there is the confirm, the arc fire to the up smash, and Dith taking game two. How do you change your tag in Smash Online? Um, <clears throat> so like the tag that shows up in other people's arenas, um, if that's what you mean, that is going to be your Switch profile name. Um, so if you go to the home screen on your Switch, um, it'll be up in the top left. You'll see like your profile um, and then you can click on that and uh, click on you know view my profile and you should be able to edit it from there. J Steve, J Steve, not J Brav. Looks like we'll be going to Smashville for Game Three here. Um, you know, a, a much smaller save than stage than Battlefield will um, prevent Robin from setting up as effectively, but um, that long platform should help Robin sort of hide under, um, you know, Wolf's aerial approaches. So I think it could benefit both players here a little bit, but um, I think Wolf definitely has the advantage on this stage compared to Robin, um, just because of its size and the small blast zones. So um, we'll see how it goes. Toastfish going to open up with a back air and an unfortunate air dodge, but um, Robin's vertical recovery is very, very good, um, very effective. So um, no problem at all able to get back from that distance. And I like these gentlemen's coming out, spacing out with that explosive uh, third hit of the jab, the fire hit. Um, I, I don't know, not a lot of people know this, but um, the uh, the jabs that Robin uses, oh, and there's a dirty kill with that back air. Um, yeah, the, the jabs, like the, the flurry attack, the, the rapid jab uses the uh, Elwin book, and the gentleman uh, with the explosive hit uses the arc fire book. I don't, I don't know, if, I feel like that should be common knowledge, maybe, but 
Um, I know some people aren't super familiar with it, especially because Robin is sort of an uncommon character. But that's some great shield pressure from Dith. Um, you know, that's the sort of thing that you need to, to even up the game. But then getting hit with Fair Bear, that is not what you need to even up the game. And, and now we're getting the Arc Fire or Arc Thunder reflected rather. Um, Dith is looking like a you know in a dangerous spot. Toast versus is definitely come back with a vengeance after that game too. Up three stocks to one right now at, at 111. And definitely kill percent here against Robin, especially on this small stage, but with another full stock to work with. Toastfish able to just sort of play aggressively and, and do what they want, but that fair will take with the 11 sword. With now searching, trying to, to save himself and a Toastfish, an unfortunate SD now. Dip faking his lucky stars back in the game here, 91 to 0. And there's the Arc Thunder, going to do a, a solid 22%. Jab one, Toastfish looking for some kind of mix-up, but no panic roll from Dith. Enables him to say, stay safe for a little bit longer, but getting hit with that Arc Thunder, or rather uh, Wolf Laser, and too many projectiles flying around on my screen, I get them all confused. Oh, and that'll be a grab punish on the up smash. That Wolf up smash, very powerful move, but um, it can be a little bit dangerous. Not not super safe if you use it point blank. Oh wow, and the parry, uh, a parry up smash probably would have done it, but um, Dith just didn't have the faith and instead went for the dash back up smash. Dith now at kill percent, but um, Toastfish's wolf is definitely there too. Dith throwing the items. Now out of resources effectively. No Levin Sword, no Arc Thunders. Or no Thunders, no Elwins as well. Dith definitely needs a miracle here to win. Um, but with Wolf at 129, or 121, uh, it doesn't matter. Dip gets it with the, uh, or who, who won? Toastfish gets it with the, the F tilt. So many things were happening. I was just getting names confused. I was getting projectiles confused. Exciting match. Very close. Well played to both players. We'll be moving on now with j Rob versus Wings. This will be... Uh, is this is it best of two? Yes. Should be, yeah. Should be just the user best of five again. So, yeah. This is best of two. All right. There we have it. Moving on to winner semis. Jabrov versus Wings. It should be an exciting match.